Hey, today we're talking about making content, creating things, the family business. <sighs> I just referenced. Supernatural. Are the Tumblr kids still here? I think we talked about this previously, but if you want to make something, you should make it. Unless, obviously, it's contributing to the suffering of others. If it is, don't do it. I know how sometimes you might feel like you have to make a certain kind of content because you look a certain way or you um, are perceived in a certain way. Well, you don't. So if you want to make video game videos, but you don't uh, look like a stereotypical video gamey type, make them anyway. You can change the way people look at video gamey types. Hell, you want to be a makeup guru? You do that. Sister, brother, sibling, you want to be a makeup guru? You do that. If you don't feel like you look like the regular makeup gurus, that's not relevant, man. You want to make videos of a certain type, you make them. You don't need to feel pigeonholed into making a certain kind of content because of the way you present yourself. I know it can be daunting, especially since um, the market is so saturated, everybody's making YouTube videos and it seems like everybody's making the same kind of content or it seems like all of the content that could be made has been already been made, but that's not true because you as an individual bring your own experiences to things, you bring your own knowledge of things that are specific to you. So. It doesn't matter what the subject is, you're probably going to have something to say about it that hasn't already been said. And I know that the fear of getting mindless hate from people on the internet can be a very daunting thing. Like, it can make you not want to make any content, it can make you afraid of putting yourself out there, especially if you're going against the tide, but what you have to do is remember that you, person, making content, you may be the person who makes somebody else's life better. Like, if you make a video and it inspires one person to make another video, or if you make a video and it makes a connection with a certain person, that person who needs that connection in that moment, you could make their life better if, or make their day better. Even if it's just one person, you could help them because you took the chance and you put yourself out there. And supporting people. If somebody makes content that's really good, that you really genuinely love, tell people about it. Tell everyone about it. And I know that sometimes you want to just keep it personal to yourself. That's, that's nice to feel things like that, but we must not be selfish, we must tell other people about the amazing content we find on the internet so the person whose content that we like, they can have a bigger audience and they can, itchy neck, their audience can grow. We want their audience to grow because we want to be able to share their amazing content with um, the rest of the internet. This will help combat sort of internet uh, trolliness, is when you find people who make really good content and then you, you know, tweet about them or you become friends with them and then you can make a little network, right? There's a little support system. If someone leaves a negative comment on your video, your friend could come and say, hey, that's not cool, and they'll support you. And you could do the same for them. If you go off and you're looking at your friend's videos and someone's left a trolly, trolly comment, you can reply to that comment by saying, hey, you weren't thinking of my friend complexly and maybe they'll feel shame, but they might not because they're trolls. But maybe they will. They might feel shame and they'll be like, oh man, I have to reform my life of crime and trolling. And maybe I'll be a better person now because that other person's friend told me to stop being mean. Just don't let their comments get to you because it's not about you. It's never about you. It's about the person who leaves the comment. They're the one who feels bad enough about themselves that they have to try to put out someone else's light. Uh, you should tell me people you love, obviously. Sharing is caring, somebody is skateboarding outside. Sharing is caring, you tell me people you love, I'll tell you people I love, and uh, it'll be great. We're sharing and learning about new content creators and becoming a mass network of awesome people who support each other. Uh, this is why I do sit downy vlogs, because when I'm standy uppy, I standy uppy and I move a movie. Movie, movie? Yeah. I used to spend a lot of time with a toddler, can you tell? Movie, movie. <laughs> boop, boop. <laughs> I was watching my drink kitchen. Um, 